Hey, it's Hex Inverter here with HexInverter.net Electronics. So today I'm going to be giving a brief overview and demo of Galilean Moons. Galilean Moons is what I'm calling a dual amplitude transmutator. Really that's just fancy name for uh, two voltage controlled function generators and voltage controlled amplifiers in one module. Uh, they're linked together in pairs and what that allows you to do is transmutate the amplitude of an incoming signal. For Galilean moons you can plug in virtually any audio source into the VCA inputs or you can use it with a Jupiter storm which normalizes to the Galilean moons through the back behind the panel and some of the outputs of Jupiter Storm will internally be normalized to Galilean moons. So really it just saves you some patch cables. I can't stress enough that Galilean moons is actually a standalone module and it can be used with Jupiter Storm, but you don't actually need one with it. So you can use standard VCOs, VCFs, and any other sort of sound source to uh, uh, create synthesized sounds with Galilean moons. Okay, so moving on, um, each envelope has uh, different modes of operation. So right now we're in attack decay mode, and in attack decay mode, a trigger comes into the trigger input and starts the cycle. The cycle repeats until it either re-triggers or finishes. There's also attack sustain release mode in which the uh, the envelope stays open until the gate or trigger is released. Uh, that's good for if you're playing with a keyboard or something else that has varying gate lengths. Whereas attack decay is more for percussive sounds, which I have rigged up here. And uh, this module was really designed to basically uh, create a voltage controlled percussion and sound effects generator. So the focus is definitely on the attack decay generators. However, it can also be used in LFO mode, so you can use it as a low frequency oscillator as well. When a trigger comes in while in LFO mode, it simply reset, resets the LFO. So that can be kind of a useful feature. Okay, so moving on, how about we check out what it sounds like when you have a basic percussive patch happening. So as you can hear right now, there's barely any sound coming out of it. And this sound is being generated by Jupiter Storm, by the way. Um, as I turn the decay up, you can see the envelope responds to the decay control. And similarly with the tack. So that's cool. Uh, what makes the envelopes in Galilean moons unique is that they're voltage controlled. So you can actually plug in a control voltage, which I have right here, into either one of the parameters and voltage control it over time. So I've been asked a few times how snappy the envelopes are on this module, and the answer is very snappy. In fact, the envelope's so snappy that when set to the lowest setting on attack and decay, the envelope raises and lowers so quickly that you can't even really hear it. Uh, it happens in about 600 microseconds, which is a sixth of a millisecond. Um, so that means that the attack or the decay each has a uh, maximum snappiness of 300 microseconds. So that's approximate, it, it means it takes approximately one third of a millisecond for the attack cycle to complete, which is uh, rather fast. Okay, so uh, you can adjust the times from uh, approximately 300 microseconds to somewhere over 10 seconds per cycle. So that means you could have a maximum envelope length with decay and attack of about 20 seconds. Okay, now I want to talk just in brief about the voltage controlled amplifiers in Galilean moons. The, vo the VCAs in Galilean moons are low distortion and linear. They're also DC coupled, not AC coupled. That means you can pass control voltage signals through them. This is useful because it means you can use 
the VCAs to gate things, uh, to or rather to change the amplitude of things like LFOs and control voltage signals in your system. Uh, so when you're not using Galilean moons as as uh, basically what it was designed for, and that's creating voltage controlled envelopes and VCA pairs to modify the amplitude of signals in your system, you can use all of the components of Galilean moons elsewhere. So that means that nothing really goes to waste in the design. If using a Galilean moons optionally with a Jupiter storm normalized it to, the, th to it through the back, it enables an extra noise output on Jupiter storm. As you can see here, the XOR noise output is an extra noise output from Jupiter Storm. Let's listen to that now. So you can hear it sounds slightly different. Users of Jupiter Storm might realize that it sounds fairly similar to when the noise core disruptor is on, on Jupiter Storm normally. The unique thing about this noise output is that it sounds like that regardless of whether the noise core disruptor is on or off. Uh, its tonal characteristic changes a bit when it's enabled, however, it means that you can have the ring mod-esque type sounds that come out of Jupiter Storm when the noise core disruptor is off at the same time as this sound. So it's it should be a fairly useful addition to your system if you have a Jupiter Storm already. Your rack modules will be arriving at dealers sometime in December of 2013 and uh, be sure to check out upcoming videos for more demos and check the links below for audio demos of the noise outputs from Galilean Moons and Jupiter Storm normalized together.